President Trump is calling for the execution of the sub suspect who authorities say carried out the truck attack that killed eight people and injured almost a dozen more. Tweeting shortly before midnight, NYC terrorist was happy as he asked to hang ISIS flag in his hospital room. He killed eight people, badly injured 12, should get death penalty. All right, so let, I, I just want to stop right here for a second because this is just so important. Uh, to, again, we always talk about norms and norms that are being violated. Several days ago when we were talking about Paul Manafort uh, and Gates and um, the gentleman who was, uh, was actually charged. Um, Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos. Yeah. Um, what do we, Willie, what did we say? Uh, uh, several times, it's important to remember that in America, even though this is obvious, seems obvious to a lot of people, in America we still believe that people are innocent until they're proven guilty. Yeah. <coughs> Obviously, all the evidence points to this man. But for, for the President of the United States, the person who's supposed to be the chief law enforcer in the United States of America, saying 24 hours after an, a, 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 an act that he should get the death penalty, that is what happens uh, in autocratic re uh, regimes. That does not happen here. I mean, every president I've ever known, every governor I've ever, everything we've always heard is, you know, let this, let, let the justice system play itself out and take its course. Here you have the president 24 hours Calling later. Calling for the death of somebody. Even before, you know, we've uh, got a jury in panel, even before anything happens, calling for his execution. Well, this guy's not going to get any sympathy from anybody here no, or, or, any, or anywhere not. else, obviously. And, right, but you're right. right. The president of the United States has an obligation to come out and say, well, let the system play out. But this is a different president. I don't think we should have expected him to, to say sure. what, what you just laid out. He goes, as we were just discussing, for the most visceral thing you can think of. Go for the death penalty. Right. Send him to Guantanamo. I wouldn't be surprised if the word torture came up. Right. These are the things he talked about in the campaign trail. And now he's talking about it again as president because he knows it appeals to the gut instinct of a lot of right. people. In this country. But what is important, Heidi, if the president is shattering all norms, it's important that everybody else steps back and says, yes, this guy gets no sympathy. Yes, it certainly does appear that he committed these heinous acts and killed these people. And in any other country, uh, not any other country, but in a lot of other countries, uh, you would have people saying, hang him, hang him, hang him in the government. But we are not any other country for 230 years everybody has had constitutional protections and we live by those norms if the president doesn't live by those norms then damn it you know what Americans need to be reminded every day that for 230 years we have Joe it's the kind of exchange that you and I might have on an emotional level in the right. aftermath of something like this if we're at the bar talking to each other yes. but not something that you say as a matter of policy as president of the United States because we do still have something in this country called due process right. and this is someone who was here legally uh, and whether you want to have a debate about whether his Miranda rights could be suspended which by the way did happen after the Unabomber the um, underwear bomber mm -hmm. right you know that was something if you want to get tough fine but to say he should be executed and to, to immediately go to DEFCON 1 is just not something that we've seen. Well, he, from tweeting just before also making, midnight is showing yeah, some makes, sort of psychological profile of someone who's up all night freaking out. Well, like, yeah, and while it may be me. viscerally like satisfying, it yeah. also is making the job harder for the government officials who do have to prosecute this case, right? I mean. Trump has now potentially tainted a jury pool. The defense can argue; they can say that he's not. The defense can say he's not going to get a fair shake. Uh, he complicates the case that you're going to make against this guy. Um, I mean, the famous instance of this was Richard Nixon and Charles Manson, right? Yeah. Where Richard Nixon called for the death penalty and then had to walk it back, basically. Yeah. And I was looking this up last night. Obama had to walk around the stuff with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed too. So. There's a reason you have these norms. It's not just because, I mean, obviously we, we want to protect the independence of the judicial process, but, you know, presidents realize they, they want to make it easier for the prosecution here, too. Right, and he's made it harder, Mika, and you have another example of this. Again, not to go too fine at this point, because we have so much to talk about. We do. But the president's own immigration uh, plans. Oh, no. He got in the way of them time and time again in his own words 
were used against him to for, for courts to undermine his attempts at what he called extreme vetting. I think we're witnessing just a uh, little bit of a uh, breakdown. Well, yeah. if you listen, though, Mika, to what the New York Times is reporting, mm -hmm. what Vanity Fair is reporting, what Washington Post is reporting, they're suggesting, Willie, that the president is in full meltdown mode right now uh, based on three articles that I'm sure we yeah. all read yesterday. Yeah, well, uh, he actually called the New York Times to refute those articles. Wow. No, I'm not melting down. Everything's fine. I'm not <laughs> wow. upset. Wow, okay. Um, but back to, be your, back to your original argument, Donald Trump and many people actually will watch what we just said for the last five minutes and say that's an academic yeah. exercise. No. Right. There are people in New York City who despise Donald Trump who I guarantee say you're damn right that guy should get the death penalty. Well, sure. If, you know, if he did what he it's did and he's already talked about having done it and all that, you're damn right. So Donald Trump is speaking to the gut of the country where the argument goes to the brain and the norms of the country. I think, Mika, most of us might agree with that off camera. Most of us might even say that on camera. But if you're the president of the United yeah. States, you have to be held to a higher standard because we have a constitution in this country. And, you know, I'm a guy that has been hammered for years mm -hmm. by, by you, yeah. by a lot of people <laughs> online, uh, because I actually believe that terrorists and suspected terrorists should be treated tougher. Right. Uh, so even, so, and, and people have suggested that I think they should be tortured. I don't think they should be tortured, but I do think they should be treated a lot tougher. So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying right now. Even with my position being far to the right of your yeah. position, what Donald Trump did yesterday violates constitutional norms. He has helped this suspected terrorist. And any defense lawyer worth uh, their weight in salt is going to be able to make a very compelling case against uh, the president and to a could, judge that he can't get a fair trial now. You could also argue that, uh, like many times before, the president has a lot going on and things are really closing in on him and he's freaking out and his family is even in peril of some of the stupid things that they've done over the past 9, 10, 11, 12 months. And this was just another great deflection that people talk about and churn over for hours instead of looking at the matter at hand. As Willie mentioned... Well, he actually doesn't know what he's doing. The president him. yesterday said he's open to sending uh, the suspect to Guantanamo Bay and took aim at the legal system. We need quick justice and we need strong justice. Much quicker and much stronger than we have right now. Because what we have right now is a joke and it's a laughing stock. A little context on the speed of our current legal system. A New Jersey man was convicted last month of planting two pressure cooker bombs on the New York City in New York City in the summer of 2016. That was a year ago. Just over one year elapsed between the attack and the guilty verdict. That is swift justice. Meanwhile, five men accused of conspiring in the 9-11 attack 16 years ago were formally charged in 2012 and are still awaiting trial in Guantanamo Bay. That. So there's a little ignorance at hand here or just a great deflection. So that, Mika, is uh, that is not swift justice. In fact, if you want to have justice delayed, send them to Gitmo. Uh, if you want to have fast justice, I got to say, and I don't want to go into it too much, but for the President of the United States to say that the United States legal system is a joke and a laughing stock around the world actually is one of the f most ignorant things the President has said. Our justice system, again, for 230 years, since 1787, it has been the envy of the world, and it is what separates us from most other countries on this planet. It is what guarantees uh, that we have checks on tyrants and on tyranny, and that, uh, I mean, it's, for him to say that is just dumbfounding. My uh, instinct is that it's a deflection if you look at mindset uh, and in light of the next story now. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.